what's up? Let me try to guess your name. And if I guess it right, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, you ready? Drum roll. Annie, Sarah, Kayla, Kelsey, Derek, John, Savannah? Huh? Savannah? Oh no, sorry, that's my name. Danielle, Cassie, and for the last one, Lauren. Did I guess your name? No. <laughs> sorry, I tried. Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video or just like welcome to a video. Yeah, so my name is Savannah from the channel Savannah and Stuff and I started a 25 series on my channel. I'll have the other ones linked down below. One is in relation to school and then the other two are in relation to summer, but they're just kind of like DIY projects you can do all year round. So for today, we're gonna be doing 25 DIY notebooks. I thought this would be really cool because I know a lot of you guys want to be original and you want to stand out. It's just kind of fun to have something that no one else has in your class. So if you guys do not know how these videos work, I look up some DIYs online and I share it with you guys and I have all the links down below. So right when you see a DIY, you guys can go click that because you guys can watch a DIY notebook video where people are making them and they can make three and you don't really like any of them. So here I'm giving you guys 25 different options, which is a lot. So I promise you guys, you will find a notebook in this list that you will want to make. And I tried it very hard to find notebooks that I have never seen online before, I've never seen in videos before. So before we get started, do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. All right, so give this video a thumbs up if you have a thumb and let's get into it. Marble notebooks. Believe it or not, but these notebooks were made using shaving cream and food coloring. And the awesome thing is that the majority of us already have those supplies. So you just get a tin of shaving cream, you put in the food coloring, then you take a toothpick and kind of like swirl around the colors. And then you put your notebook cover in there and then it comes out with this really, really pretty design. Fruit stamp notebook. So if you're the kind of person who is just like very into the summer season and you're a little bit salty about school starting, this is your notebook. So she actually used a stamp to make these different patterns, but she made her own stamp. So if you guys are interested in being a little bit more creative and trying out something different, this is pretty cool. Cork journal. This is definitely one of my favorites on the list. I have never seen this before. I think that it is so smart. And you could put anything on it. I think it's so cute how on the post-it note it says meeting at Starbucks and then she actually cut out clip art of a coffee. And it's literally so simple because all you do is take a circle of cork and then put that on your notebook. You guys, this is the easiest DIY, but it's something that is so original. And if you're at a coffee shop, you can even use the cork as a coaster. This Hello Journal is absolutely stunning, you guys. I think this is definitely for people who are a little bit more crafty, like this is gonna take you some time. So these embroidered notebooks are very, very popular. I came across a lot. And this is definitely one of my favorite ones. Monthly Planners. All right, so this one is even maybe a little bit intense for me and I am someone who likes planners. So this idea is for those of you guys who are just like really, really into planning. So this tutorial teaches you how to make this little mini planner. It doesn't have very many pages in it, but you make one for every single month. Customizable gift notebooks. So this tutorial is to make someone a planner as a gift. So they wrote to-do lists, deep thoughts, best ideas ever. But this would be such a cute gift idea to like bring to your girlfriends at school. So they just kind of have a rope at the top there and then a note card and then some pens. Gold lettering notebook. When I first saw this one, I was kind of confused. I was like, I have no idea how they made them. But once I went to the tutorial, it's literally just with these gold stickers. So all you guys have to do is find a plain notebook or a plain planner. I honestly can't get over how easy this one is because it's good looking. Pineapple embroidered notebook. Did you really think there was going to be another DIY video without pineapples in it? For whatever reason, pineapples have become such a craze with DIYs lately. Alright, so I know that this looks really complicated, but all you do is print off a picture of a pineapple, get a safety pin, and then poke the outline of the pineapple. And then all you do is needle the thread. Mixed Media Sketchbook. This is a DIY for those of you guys who are just kind of like super creative and very artsy and you really want to do something different. This notebook style can be very, very personal and it's honestly just very beautiful. So what they did is just painted the notebook and then they added a picture at the bottom and then they added this script. 
planners using wrapping paper. Now personally, I think that these are so beautiful and they aren't even difficult to make at all. So you can just buy a cheap plain notebook, add on the wrapping paper, and then just get letter stickers. 3D modeling clay notebook. This one is super cool, you guys. So you get some modeling clay, and then this person had, I guess it's kind of like cookie cutters, but for letters. So they just put the modeling clay in there, cooked it, and then added it to the planner. So it gives it this really cool 3D effect. I think this is really, really unique. And you could even paint the letters if you want to. Origami bird notebook. I feel like this one is kind of very like Urban Outfitters, anthropology inspired. I really like the black and white together. Even though this looks beautiful, it straight up doesn't even look that hard. Cereal box notebook. I think this one is kind of more of like a funny, comical one. That kind of reminds me, when I was little, I remember there were some people who would make purses out of like pop tabs. Please let me know in the comments down below if you guys have ever seen these. Wood notebook. This one is very like Tumblr, Urban Outfitters. So they didn't use real wood for this, they used wood effect self-adhesive vinyl. So it's essentially this wood paper. Mink foil notebook. Gotta say, I'm not really sure how a mink machine works, and I thought maybe at least one of you guys would know what it is, so yeah. Typography motivational notebook. I feel like I always have a hard time saying the word typography for some reason. It just doesn't flow off the tongue. You guys, I feel like motivational quotes are the most needed in school. Cause I'm not even gonna lie, school is tough. So you can make this notebook and it can act as your personal Tony Robbins. Moleskin Sharpie notebook. I've seen a bunch of these online just with like different Sharpie designs and stuff like that. I thought that I would show this picture here. To make these absolutely beautiful notebooks, all they used were Sharpies. The one in the middle kind of looks like amoebas to me, so I'm digging it. Monogram journal. I don't know how practical this is, but if you have a little bit of narcissism in you, make a notebook as your initial. Fruit notebooks. So this is, I think, the third variation of fruit notebooks on this list. These are pretty cool though because they're not like the typical notebook shape. You guys can make a different fruit for every single different class. And these ones look like they're pretty easy to make. Watercolor notebooks. Have you guys ever done this in art class where you would take a straw, take some paint, and then like blow it on a piece of paper? Because we did that at my school and for the whole entire day, everyone would be nauseous. Well, mostly me. Tetris notebook. I don't think that's actually what this is called, but I just called it Tetris notebook because it kind of looked like it. I guess these are just kind of like building blocks. You guys, I love this one. And then the little building block in the corner is just so cute. Creative personal scene notebook. This one is a tutorial on how to use different fabrics and embroidery to make your own scene. So this looks extremely complicated, but when you actually go to the tutorial, it really breaks everything down. If you actually made this, I feel like it's the most impressive on the whole list. Dotted silhouette notebook. All you have to do is take whatever kind of shape or initial you want, put it in the center, and then make a bunch of dots with Sharpies. That sounds fun to me. Big Eye Notebook. I know this one is a little bit weird. It's, it's actually a lot of it weird. But I mean, at the same time, I feel like it's one of those ugly cute things. And if you make this, I will guarantee you that nobody else in your class, even your school will have this. I promise. Life is a Party Notebook. You guys, that's such a great message, but I think it's like super ironic that if you guys make this, it will probably be for school, and that's definitely not a party. But nonetheless, these are gorgeous. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. So let me know in the comments down below which DIY was your favorite, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.